Good evening and welcome to this special edition of the Big Fight, a show that is young at 23. It's not 23 years old because this is the oldest running debate show on Indian news television. Now, the monsoon session of parliament is over. What you see behind me is the old parliament building. It is quite possible, I do not know, this has not been officially communicated, but it is quite possible that what you heard last week was perhaps the last of the debates from this iconic building. It is quite possible that in the winter session, the activities will shift to the new building. So as far as the penultimate day in the old parliament building is concerned, we had a no trust motion, no trust vote, no confidence motion. The opposition decided something which can be, if you know, in, in uh, filmy parlance, can be called Bazigar, Har ke Jeetna. Why do I say this? Because they knew that they don't have the numbers, but they wanted to corner the government and get the Prime Minister to comment on Manipur. So they knew, wo harenge. But in their mind, wo jeetenge if the Prime Minister comments on Manipur. So the debate happened. It was a fairly long debate for about 18 hours. Lots of speakers spoke, Rahul Gandhi spoke, and from the government, the government chose to spoke about a little bit of Manipur and a lot of everything else. Thus, treating this no-confidence motion as an extremely broad canvas on which they could launch what appeared to be a 2024 election campaign to reiterate what they've done over the past nine, nine and a half years. In that contest, has the opposition's mission Bazigar in Parliament vis-a-vis -vis Manipur really worked? That is going to be our debating point on the big fight. Let me introduce our guest this evening from uh, the lawns right outside Parliament. I have Mr. Vinod Agnihotri, a veteran when it comes to uh, covering Parliament. So is uh, uh, Ms. Smita Gupta. Thank you very much, senior journalist right here uh, on the panel. We also have Shama Mohammed, spokesperson of the Congress Party. Mr. K.C. Tyagi, who is a veteran and a historian Political historian, I would say, Mr. K.C. Tyagi, he will, through the course of the program, I'm assuming Mr. Tyagi, give us lots of references of no-confidence motions from the past. So we wish to learn from you. Sanjay Singh, a senior journalist, thank you very much for joining us. Sajan Kumar is a political analyst. Thank you very much. Prakash Chand Sharma uh, from the Bharatiya Janata Party. And Kartike Batra, the young, erudite, sharp researcher called Kartike Batra. Thank you very much. Let's begin, as always, the big fight with what we, what we call is the first punch. So, Mr. Vinod Agnihotri, what is your opening comment? Un, one minute of uninterrupted time. That time begins now. You see, uh, this opposition, this no confidence motion, opposition wanted to bring Prime Minister in the house and he should say some few words on the Manipur. But government was not willing to involve Prime Minister in that debate and they offered Home Minister will uh, re respond, uh, respond to the opposition and do the uh, discussion in a short duration. Uh, but bringing no confidence motion, finally, at the opposition point of view, you can say, they succeeded to bring Prime Minister in the house and he was, he addressed uh, uh, Manipur also. But where the opposition has lost the opportunity, uh, mm. after entire debate, Gaurav Gogoi, very good, he, he spoke very well and he put the motion rightly, all the facts with. But in the last, when opposition walked out from the house, that was, the, I think, they have missed the opportunity because they should have stayed there uh, and, and, and should have listened to the Prime Minister's speech and, and should have exercised their right to reply. Finally, the last words would have been with the opposition okay. but they have missed that opportunity yeah by by walking out they by missed that opportunity okay i think that's an important point uh miss smita gupta you may want to yeah, use yeah you may want to use that mic right. and by the way and by before, the way, you, start before you start speaking mr kc tyagi had a concern at the beginning of this broadcast that he wants a chai pe charcha so i i assure you mr tyagi in just a short moment we will have tea right here only chai chai ke baad with why oh no no only chai please <laughs> only tea Yes, Ms. Mitha Gupta. Uh, I'll start where Vinod left off. He has said that he thought that the opposition lost an opportunity by walking out. But 
if one looks back at how this parliament has been functioning from 2014, uh, how many times has the ruling party permitted the opposition to speak out, especially when it is critical of the prime minister? So even if they had stayed on, I don't think, at least uh, I think the walkout did make sense to me. Um, secondly, I think their choice of Manipur was very good because um, Manipur is emblematic of what is wrong with the B BJP's uh, form of governance, which is divide and rule. So in Manipur, we've seen how they have tried to divide the Metis and the tribals, the Kukis and the Nagas. Uh, for electoral advantage. They have a Methi chief minister and they thought that the Methis being Vaishnavs would sort of uh, could be sort of plugged into their Hindutva politics. We see simultaneously right now in Haryana we are Hindu Muslim. It's the Bajrang Dal and the Vishwa Hindu Parishad which have started it off. Uh, so this has been a problem okay, okay. right from the beginning that uh, you know theirs is a divide and rule policy. Okay. They have not work towards uniting sure, India. Sure, sure. I'll come back, I'll to, come you, back uh, to you, uh, uh, if you could pass on the mic to Ms. Shama Mohammed, your opening call. Uh, Vinodji said that we wanted the Prime Minister to speak in Parliament. Yes, he, we wanted him to speak in Parliament simply because he did not speak elsewhere. The Prime Minister of a nation, presidents of various countries, when there is strife, when there are riots, when there is internal strife, they come out and say, listen, I want peace in my country. I don't want my countrymen to fight. Did the Prime Minister of India speak a word for peace? No. He only spoke when after 80 days a video became viral of two women being paraded naked and one of them was raped and the other one was an army man's wife who said very clearly in Kargil, I was at the front line at Kargil, but this is worse than that. That is what the army men said. If you are not able to answer to your Jawans, if you are not able to answer to your people, what sort of prime minister is that who wants to speak only when there are good times, when the army does well, when our wrestlers win medals, but when they are in sickness, when they are in strife, this prime minister is not with anybody. That is why we wanted this session, because we wanted answers on Manipur. Let's understand very importantly, Sanket, more than 1,000 houses have been burnt. Many women have been raped. One, more than 150 people dead. Churches, more than 200 have been burnt. Ammunitions okay. robbed from police station. Sure. We this is a national security issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When so one, much one has minute. happened, the yes. Prime Minister of India has shut his mouth. Man. And in Parliament yesterday, okay. one last point, he spoke for three minutes on Manipur. That's why the opposition walk out. Okay. And when he spoke in the beginning, okay. Okay. he was ridiculing. Okay. Okay. He was okay. ridiculing. He was laughing. Okay. And the whole of the Bhatia Janta Party was you. laughing. You have one minute. That doesn't minute work when we are okay. we are okay. upset. Okay. The Prime okay. Minister of India was mocking Manipur yesterday. Another chance, yes, one Keep more. That Keep that mic with you, Mr. KC Thiagi. Would you like to... yesterday, the Prime Minister okay, of India? Okay, okay one Your more. Your opening comment time is up, Mr. KC Thiagi. Would you want to uh, start with your opening comment, or would you like to have tea first? It's right here. Thank you, man. Yes. Thank you to Chai and Chai Wala both. Yes. Mr. Thiagi is opening. No, 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 you, no, no. you carry on. You carry on. Sankej Ji, for many days, when Nitish Kumar Ji has gone to Patna, and in Bangalore, he is going to reach Mumbai. There are a lot of qualitative changes in the country. And we are sitting here, we have to make a national front, we have to make V.P. Singh, Devilal, Karna Nidhi, चेन्नई भी गए थे और मुझे तो संकेत जी कम से कम आधा दर्जन मौके मुझे ऐसे मिले हैं जब मैं अपोजिशन यूनिटी के बीच में रहा राइट फ्रॉम 77 74 ऑफ चरण सिंह 77 ऑफ जेपी देन अगेन लोकदल देन अगेन जनता पार्टी एंड देन मेनी फैक्शंस ऑफ जनता पार्टी इंक्लूडिंग जनता दल यू आल्सो अब इस समय जो सवाल हैं वो पहले सवालों से ज्यादा गहरे हो गए इंदिरा जी के समय भी ये कुछ सवाल थे जैसे कोऑपरेटिव फेडरलिज्म था चुनी हुई सरकारें तब भी गिरती थी लेकिन अब संख्याओं में 
और भी बढ़ोतरी हो गई जी संजय सिंह जी सी संकेत इट्स इट वॉज नोन दैट ऑपोजिशन नेवर हैड नंबर्स एंड दे सेड सो द पॉइंट वॉज इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू ब्रिंग प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू द हाउस perfectly all right you moved a no confidence motion but at the same time they gave a huge huge opportunity to prime minister modi given his kind of oratorical skill given the kind of strength that bjp and nda has in house to whole go into into whole gamut of issues where bjp was on a very strong footing remember about historicity of manipur also the bjp had too many things to talk of course there were certain issues which were kind of uh, issues of concern as to what is happening in manipur now but if you look at entire debate it was only gorav gogoi in the beginning even from the opposition benches who actually talked about manipur and manipur the rest of the leaders trade everywhere as as is the case with any uh, no confidence motion so i would say if you are happy with a consolation prize that prime minister came to this house and our purpose is served remember the parliament constitutes of two houses of parliament lok sabha and rajya sabha it was only in lok sabha that, that the purpose was, the purpose to, was to corner the government on manipur uh, even that was not set, uh, that was also not properly done yes, that is your assessment okay okay पोलिटिकल कल्चर हैज शिफ्टेड मोर इन टू द मोड ऑफ गुरिल्ला वॉरफेयर रेदर देन द कन्वेंशनल वॉरफेयर यू नो वेर इन एवरी पार्टी एवरी लीडर दे आर विलिंग टू आउट स्मार्ट देर राइवल्स इन एवरी थिंग सो देर फोर uh this claim of following the old norm and old ethics is something which is more like a front which is more like a cover you know and ultimately the question of moral high ground is always about who wins the debate who who wins the show and que- crucial question here is that yes opposition has the democratic right to ask prime minister to speak but there is also another question can you discuss the question of manipur without linking it to the larger politics and changes that are happening in the northeast and therein if manipur was a matter of moral concern outrage was it outrage with conviction or without conviction because we did not see yes as was spoken gorav gogoi spoke on manipur but majority of the opposition parties they deviated from the manipur so that it it seems that moral high ground there is a competition between the ruling and the opposition party and we have entered into a phase wherein we should not be surprised wherein new modes of norms and ethics are being implemented and olds are be, being violated okay okay now you you uh, pass that mic on to mr sanjay singh mr prakash chand sharma Uh, and for the great debate as well see you started your comment with this baji giri of opposition it was not the baji giri it was the awara giri what they ruined the this monsoon i am sorry for this word sir but i am really hurt the way they did it they are setting a, you know the concern about the our futuristic part for our youngsters for our public what they are seeing and only and only due to condemn of that they should understand they should look the matter in the totality they should look the divide into the concern as a whole when the home minister is responsible they should listen the whole part with the background with the present and the future see any incident happen and that is very rude very ruthless and we all are shame on that but we should understand in this particular moment when you have a particular problem you have a pain you give the pain killer to cure the pain you don't raise the pain you hold the man and say no no see how the pain is how the pain is what the acting you people are doing you just want to ruin the country you ruined the country till now in the last 9 year we have seen the shifted change from the politics to the geopolitical situation where this india is there okay. and now the creating a i and dia you understand you win the heart of the people it will never happen okay okay i think i think it is very safe to say it is extremely safe to say that uh, what happened in parliament and the sort of speeches that were made uh, was not really a speech for a no trust vote but this was almost like a precursor to 2024 like a preparing yeah well, one moment mr karthike is left for his opening comments and then i'll come to you mr karthike bol thank you sanket sanket let's divide this into what ought to have happened and what exactly happened what ought to have happened was a debate like the one we had in 2012 on kokrajhar i was a young student back in the day it was very heartening to see that leaders from across political parties 
spoke their hearts out as if they actually felt the pain of the people in Assam. That unfortunately didn't happen. The the job of making the parliament function on these sensitive issues is both of the opposition and the government. But given the government's brute majority today, I think it's a little more on the government of the day. So that what is or that is what ought to have happened. What ended up happening was a David versus Goliath, because. just because of the parliamentary numbers in the no confidence motion because that's the only format that the government agreed to the opposition was given much less time to speak to pull their punches just because their numbers are lower right so the allocated time is less and the government had a lot more time to speak in that battle david had to pull the punches much more strongly than goliath disproportionately and i think there i don't think it was as satisfying if you are a supporter of the opposition as it should have been i'll just close it with this i yeah. have much more to say but okay, maybe sure. later but uh, let's let's ask this question of uh, ms shama mohammed uh, when david realized that it is not <laughs> it is not in terms of numbers as strong as uh, uh, the goliath being mentioned here then in that uh, keeping that in mind were the punches, were the punches hard, hard enough i fully agree the punches were hard enough now somebody said that you know what they said that they were hardly speaking on the issue all women members of parliament from the opposition spoke very much on the manipur issue on the sexual violence because i've listened to most of it then in a no confidence motion in the past history of india the prime minister of india sits there throughout yes or no there are journalists sitting there yes where was this prime minister he comes in five minutes just before he has to speak sits there and he starts the speech mocking and all parliamentarians sitting there and laughing you know serious issue like manipur all of them are displaced many children not going to school they don't have houses burned down let's remember the story of the mother and child escorted by police you know burned down in the ambulance so here mr amit shah says a very important point he says the pra- the cm is cooperating with us the cm is cooperating with you to get women raped the cm is cooperating with you for the methi militia to rob the police station of weapons the cm is cooperating you with you to make the divide between the methis and the cookies more because let us understand how kip an mla of the bhatia janata party said if the prime minister did not see the viral video he would not have spoken and biren singh has to reign in the Mil- methi militia and let's also understand very important part of this manipur issue chief justice the supreme court has said call the attorney general and the solicitor solicitor general said if you and the state cannot do something in 3 days when the video came out we are going to do it and the other thing is let's understand there's a cbi probe right now but what did the supreme court do they kept another retired police officer to monitor the cbi probe and report to them why because they do not trust the cbi which is under the central government and also understand that they have also put in a three women judge out there to see to the rehabilitation of the camps so why all these things are happening mohammad mohammad now, now, now here is the point mr prakash and sharma if if that was the objective to put the government in the dock you see in a no trust motion you may have brought it in to discuss manipur but the reality is that a no trust vote mr agnihotri is not concentrated on any any one issue it is an a motion of no it is a motion of no confidence on the government, the government. on everything yes. so entire they use performance of the government entire performance, performance of the government and, and to that effect the government used that as a platform yeah, yeah they used we, that we also platform speak. even also prime minister said in the speech ki bhai hame to bhage se mil gaya ye mauka ki hum apni baat kahenge iske liye main dhanyawad deta hu so, so, so let's understand also, prime minister lied let me tell you his lies i want to point point his lies one he said about hal he i was listen to his speech he said you know we made what hal is today When the Rafale deal happened, 126 aircrafts we were supposed to buy, 108 was transfer of technology to HAL. They were supposed to manufacture, and only 18 was supposed to be delivered by the French. What happened? He changed it all, and he bought 36. So there was no transfer of technology to HAL. Number one. Then he spoke about one particular thing, which he says the UPA Sarkar immediately believed Pakistan's words after a terrorist attack. Now, who invited? the isi to investigate after the patan court attack let me ask him that why didn't the prime minister say that who invited 
the home minister we have never invited isi we know who did that the perpetrators of patan court was the ice. so let me t- now the second lie the third lie the th- because, because i need to correct the lies i need to correct his lies 1966 let me finish his lies 1966 let me finish this then only i will no no 1966 1966 mizo national front on march 1st said we are an independent country from india mrs indira gandhi sent the air force and got them back to india and this the prime minister says mrs indira gandhi killed mizo people that's a lie okay okay fine i i have understood the point that you are making one moment chama mohammed we will not allow him to lie we will correct those lies so the argument that was made one more the argument mr prakash and sharma that was made was that we want specifically a comment from the prime minister on manipur we want to draw the attention of the government on manipur however i don't think that has happened now my point is while all of this is happening you have used it as a broad canvas they are concentrating on manipur and bringing in other stuff also now as a rebuttal to the prime minister's speech where does manipur and its problems feature in all of this somehow i don't somehow think, think post this speech or post this no trust vote there is a great amount of difference that has happened in manipur or on Man- apart from the fact that 100 days after the violence began it is still a talking point in delhi That to, the that to the credit of the opposition, of the opposition has, has happened. It's not about the credit. See, agenda is agenda, propaganda is propaganda. It, uh, opposition use this particular concern as a propaganda. They just want to propagate the matter. They don't want to close the matter. They don't want to come to a solution. Shame They don't want to see the reality. What, what, what? She is talking about the Mizoram issue, and it was the bombarding on the people. They were the people of India. They should not have bombarded it. There should be another way. We have done it in the Nagar movement. We have done it in the other movement. We can see in the nine years what what we have to do for the peace. Also, yeah, one by one, please. One thing is very clear. What we want, what we want, we want peace. We want uh, the concern, the togetherness of the people. How we will do the together? If we can have, uh, you know, the concern on a particular agenda. we can debate it we can discuss it and we can come to a conclusion for the conclusion purpose for the debate purpose you have not allowed the parliament to run all the time you did all the agendas all the you know silly points over there not to run it we ask him to come a specific debate on this particular point a specific did on this mizoram no we want to call to the pm we will do the no confidence motion it was the not the no confidence motion of this uh, ruling government it was the confidence motion of a position where they felt because they have not allowed to discuss it if they wanted manipur only they should have come in a very peaceful manner ki okay we will allow but no the arrogance was there the egoism was there ki we want the particular set on a particular point <coughs> it is not allowed in democracy one more prakash and sharma you see you see kartike batra uh, and uh, miss smita gupta would know the opposition exacting something from the government is something which has happened very much happened even in the upa years I mean, I remember reporting from this very lawn when, in the winter session of 2010, an entire session was washed out. Yeah. Karthike Batra uh, on the JPC. issue of JPC on no, 2G. It happened. Yes, it happened. Yes. Sarket, very yeah. specific point I want to make. We are blaming the opposition, the opposition for, digressing. for digressing. I agree, but you have to look at the context. Also. What is the context? The opposition actually wanted a specific debate under a specific rule in the Rajya Sabha, which the government stalled. Okay. That and if that had happened, you would have had a lot of sparks flying. The government, the knows, government the knows in the Lok Sabha the opposition lacks this articulate Hindi-speaking opposition leader with pake baal like somebody like a Kesi Tiagi. ठीक है? So that plays to their strength. And the third thing, why did the opposition digress, Sanket? Even if you only wanted to speak of Manipur, the parliamentary system has broken down to such an extent that the opposition seldom finds platforms to voice other concerns. So when you're speaking in the no trust motion. I also I empathize I empathize with the opposition that you know, that, you know because as I said I am very upset not because of any partisan reason but just because I find that my parliament is not working as it used to work 10 years back the bills are being passed in the din discussions are not happening right and so in that case as an opposition leader you feel tempted chalo thoda sa ye bhi dal de thoda sa ye bhi dal dete because those are also issues exactly but of course it, it's 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 a trade off you know it's a trade off so Yeah. Mr Sanjay Singh would you like to respond in any case the space for the opposition is so limited inside parliament and there also, and there also they have to keep their punches extremely concentrated on manipur and yet they feel that let's put in a little bit of this also 
that also yeah that's not a trivial issue yeah it's a but it's not discussed yeah yeah. Is that space shrinking? I, I, I would know. And, and you know, conducting the function inside the house is the responsibility of the government. It's responsibility of the government. Yes, agreed. Yeah. Fact remains when from day one, after after a session after session, when you come to parliament with a predetermined notion that you have to disrupt proceedings of the house, sometimes it's Rafael, sometimes it's Pegasus, sometimes it's Manipur, sometimes it's something else, sometimes this is CBI raid, sometimes somebody, somebody, is, uh, somebody is questioned by CBI or ED. You cannot, you cannot say that you don't have space. Kesi Tyagi ji in previous program was referring how in 1963, when first no confidence motion was brought in, there were only 63 MPs in opposition side. And uh, the, about David and Goliath match he was talking about, the, the Davids actually punched very hard at Goliath, punching over their weight. So depending on what your strategy is, Article 2, uh, sorry, uh, Rule 267, of Rajya Sabha does not allow, does not say anything that Prime Minister has to be present in the house or make a mention, make a statement, only after that something will proceed. For people at large in the country, it does not matter whether you are discussing the subject under Rule A or Rule B. It's important that you discuss. For people, these are very, very abstract. Well, if the people very abstract things. The opposition walked into I willingly or inadvertently into whatever either there was a trap or they walked into garden garden path. Like what is the trap? What is the trap? See, I I don't I don't know. They, therefore, I said whether there was a trap or they walked garden path because Prime Minister first sentence that he said, "Bhagwan Ishwar bahuti dayalu hai ki unhone inke madhyam se no confidence motion laya." Or ham wo baat keh sakte hain jo. Otherwise, we can not get the chance So you gave him an opportunity to punch holes on you. Yes, Gupta wanted, wanted to come in. I'll come. Yeah. Uh, but Sanket, another thing was, you know, when Rahul Gandhi's membership, he returned to parliament, there was a great deal of expectation and anticipation among people at large what he is going to speak. He did not kind of uh, deliver to, what, to popular expectations. Three quick points. One is that this dono hath mein laddu politics of Modi in his speeches, he's always a winner. So, it, 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 you know, things are always working to his advantage. Uh, or that is what his supporters would have us believe. So, if people are not listening to him, he's a winner. If people are listening to him also, he's a winner. Uh, in the past, prime ministers faced with a no confidence motion have done the courtesy of listening to the entire debate because they are supposed to respond to that. Uh, his is not a, just a standalone speech. Two, I was just wanted to draw attention. Somebody was talking about how this opposition has not behaved itself, not allowed parliament to function. I'll quote one of the most distinguished BJP leaders who is no more with us, Mr. Arun Jaitley, who said that this form of protest in the house, it's a legitimate, legitimate. parliamentary device. Disruption. Disruption is a pa legitimate parliamentary device. So, uh, and Same given... Same said by Sushma Ji also in the Lok Sabha. Exactly. So, you, uh, thirdly, when we talk about quoting some Rajya Sabha rule, I'll just take you back to uh, a statement that Rajnath Singh made on the uh, China issue. He made it on... We all know that when a minister makes a statement in the Rajya Sabha, it is open to questioning by the clarifications by the opposition. He made it on condition. It was announced ahead that Mr. Rajnath Singh will make the statement in the, Raj, in the Rajya Sabha, but on condition that no opposition person can seek a clarification. So what are you okay. talking about rules? And okay. Nobody is obeying any rules yeah, uh, anymore. Uh, Shama Mohammed, I'll just come to you. Uh, Mr. Agni Hotri had to say something and then I'll come. Shama Ji has raised very valid points regarding Mijuram and other things. My concern is, you, your party, or even opposition, you should have raised these points in the house under the right to reply. That, that is the yeah. The point is, why did you walk out? Walk down. What was the need for walking one, one, out? And yeah. regarding MNF issue, uh, Prakash ji, I will tell you, one of my close relative was in that uh, air, uh, air force uh, squadron when the, the bombing was done. That was on the MNF camps. And or because the terrain was so bad, the army could not go there. That's why 
in the in the Mrs. Gandhi used this air force. We got Mizoram back. Tell him. And another thing, or oh, you see, 66 and 86, Rajiv Gandhi did a accord with Lal Denga and sacrificed his own government of Lantan Wala. Correct. So I think we should read history in the, in okay. the broader context. Okay. okay. What? 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 Yeah, yeah, sorry. Should have all been spoken in the parliament, no, 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 not outside that's parliament. parliament. That's why I'm trying to correct. No, no. Yeah. Some more things. The opposition has missed the chance. Sir, if this no. knowledge, so, so, no, no, one moment. So, Shama Mohammed. So the point, yes, Mr. Tiyagi, I'll come to you. The point that Mr. Agni Hotri is making is this: had you not walked out, you would have had the perfect opportunity. Number one, to get a right to reply, which you are getting here, right? You would have got that right to reply, and you could have made all these points on the floor of the house with a greater impact. And one more, one more, one more yeah. point, Shama. In 1993, Home Minister Court quoted 1993 Manipur problem, uh, Kukri and Nagas uh, tension. In 1993, Narsimha Rao dissolved his own government of Radha Dorin Singh within a week. This is also a, a okay. Okay. So, so uh, this was not quoted. The, the, the Congress party. Yes. The the point that Mr. Agni Hotri has made on had you not walked out, wonders could have happened. Your response. Today, my leader had a press conference. Press conference, and he said very clearly, the first one and a half hour was basic mockery. They, he was laughing, mocking. He was talking about the Congress party, about India, and saying about the arrogance. You know, there's a limit. A prime minister is the prime minister of India. There's a certain decorum with that. So, so of course we could. And robbing yourself of an opportunity so to, for a right to that's reply. So that's why. That's why. No, no. That's what I'm trying to say. That I'm. I'm replying to you right now. Okay. Another thing, which. So what I've understood in this whole thing is he spoke about peace. Where is peace when your own MLAs, the Bharatiya Janata Party, 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 Party Metis and, and Cookies, are saying that we have no faith in Biren Singh? It's not us. It's the Metis and Cookie MLAs went to the PMO saying that we are number two. One of the most important character of a democracy is what? Accountability. So nobody is accountable in there because Biren Singh has cooperated with us. I'm answering your question. Answer my question on what was the need to walk out. So I told you because for the one and a half hour, we everybody was waiting for the word Manipur because the Prime Minister has not spoken. As soon as you walked so, out, he mentioned Manipur. But what did he do? What did he mention? What did he mention? Let me finish. He said, "We want peace, samadhan chahiye waha." He never spoke about. What is happening in Manipur? What, what can you, we you do? You could have said this on the floor. Of no, the and one more thing. One more thing. I also. Oh. I let me finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, one, let one, me just one, one let me yeah. just finish. So the other thing is how what I would call Amit Shah and Modi. Both of them are liars. The amount they have lied. Even that Kathavali story about the lady, Mr. Amit Shah said, she came out next day and said, you know what? I did not get help from the BJP. I got help from the Rahul Gandhi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there is another lie. No. And and all you know. So all these lies which they were saying. Then he spoke about Parivarvad. All, Parivar all the more reason. Corruption. Shama Mohammad, as Mr. Agni Hotri, Kar as well as Karthik, and, and everyone and, and, is and saying, no, you could have, have you could BJP, have said all of this on the floor the of the BJP house. Mr. Casey, one last point. I have to move on. I'll come. Shama, I have to. One point. Please allow others also to speak. One point on corruption. He speaks about corruption. Only convicted person. Who is it? Yadurappa. Let's understand that for corruption in 2011. You can't. And then you have Ajit Pawar, who you accuse him of 70,000 crore okay, okay, irrigation scam. Mr. He is oh, your deputy Mr. CM Tari. now. You need to answer Shama to that. Mohammed, you can't point Shama fingers Mohammed, of corruption to the okay, Congress fine. party. Enough is enough. Mr. Casey, We are not going to keep Casey, quiet Tari, about Mr. this corruption thing. Who is the convicted Congress person? Who is the convicted Congressman? I want to know the convicted Congress leader. Shama. He's congressman. He is your. He is your best friend. Shama. Lama Prasad Yadav. One. Sanjay Singh. One. Please allow me. Mr. K C Tyagi, the senior president, is waiting. Yadurappa Chief Minister. I have to go to Mr. Tyagi, please. Mr. Tyagi. Because Sanjay has said, mentioned the name of Lalu Prasad Yadav. But why don't you forget Ajay Chautala? He is in India. He is also convicted. Okay. Lalu Prasad Yadav is one character. Ajay Chautala is not lies like Lalu Prasad Yadav. He is he he. He, see, 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 one, 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 That the opposition provided itself, and something very interesting that Sajjan Kumar mentioned a couple of uh, minutes ago, where he said that the Congress has been able to galvanize their social media and IT cell better than the Bharatiya Janata Party over the past six months. 
तो ये गैल्वनाइज किया लेकिन उसके बाद फिर उसको शिखर तक लेके नहीं जा पाए आपको लगता है कि ये आलोचना वाजिब है सफेद बाल बालों के सफेद बाल के बारे में भी ये चर्चा कर रहे थे हमारे जमाने अब से ज्यादा अच्छे थे जिस नॉन कॉन्फिडेंस का जिक्र अभी मेरे दोस्त संजय सिंह ने किया है डॉक्टर लोहिया इकोनॉमिक्स पे डिबेट कर रहे थे पहली बार उन्होंने कहा कि देश की दो बटे तीन आबादी तीन आने रोज पे गुजारा करती है पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू बैठे हुए थे और डॉक्टर लोहिया के ही समाजवादी दोस्त अशोक मेहता चेयरमैन थे प्लानिंग कमीशन के उन्होंने बुलाया अशोक मेहता को और कहा कि लोहिया कह रहे तीन आने पे मेरा मानना है पंद्रह आने पे उन्होंने कहा कि मैं सात आने की मेरे पास रिपोर्ट है कि दो बटे तीन आदि सात आने पे तो उस समय अपोजिशन भी था और रूलिंग पार्टी भी थी जवाहरलाल जैसे बड़े कद का आदमी भी रेस्पोंड करता था क्योंकि करने वाले डॉक्टर लोहिया थे अब लोहिया का ही कहना था कि सड़क अगर गर्म है तो संसद भी गर्म रहे और जब संसद बांझ हो जाएगी तब सड़क गर्म रहे अब हो क्या गया है कि अब सब एक दूसरे पर स्कोर करने पर लगे हुए हैं आई एग्री विद यू अच्छा होता अगर इंडिया वाले पूरा समय बैठते लेकिन फिर प्रधानमंत्री भी बैठ जाते पहले ये नहीं कि उठ के चले जाते उठ के जाने का मतलब ये डिस रेस्पेक्ट टू द पार्लियामेंट और उस समय की डिबेट ऐसी होती थी ज्योतिर्मय बसु थे जॉर्ज फर्नांडिस थे मधुलिम थे खड़े होते थे लगता था पता नहीं आज किस मंत्री की छुट्टी होगी <laughs> लेकिन टॉलरेंस थी सेंट्रल हॉल में सब बैठ के कॉफी पीते थे अब तो दो दिन के बाद सेंट्रल हॉल जो है वो भी अच्छी अच्छी चीज हो जाएगी इवन द एक्स एम पी लाइक वी विल नॉट बी अलाउड टू गो इन साइड द सेंट्रल हॉल तो ये माहौल जो बदला हुआ है ये बहुत दुखद है ये सभी के लिए दुखद है और प्रकाश जी नंबर गेम पे मत जाइए मैंने 400 के नंबर गेम भी देखे हैं मैंने साढ़े तीन के भी देखे हैं अब वो कहाँ चले गए साढ़े तीन सौ चार सौ वाले तो उस पर मत जाइए नंबर गेम तो अदलते बदलते रहते हैं ज्यादा लंबा वक्त नहीं है एट्टी फोर में आपके दो ही एम थे भला हो इनकी गलती होगा कि आप तीन सौ तीन पहुंच गए और आप ऐसी ही गलती करोगे तो ये ऊपर चढ़ जाएंगे आप नीचे आ जाओगे वही आज तीन सौ तीन पे है सी अल्टीमेटली वी आर रनिंग आइडियोलॉजी एंड आइडियोलॉजी इज वेरी क्लियर प्लीज 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 वो पॉलिसी नहीं है मैं इस, इसको मैं रजिस्टर करना चाहता हूं और ये मेरी गवाह है स्मिता 89 में जब एनडीए बना है हमने आपकी सारी पॉलिसी खूंटी पटंगवा दी थी आर्टिकल 370 का जिक्र नहीं होगा राम जन्मभूमि बाबरी मस्जिद का विवाद तय होगा सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जरिए और यूसीसी का जिक्र नहीं होगा कहाँ चलेगी थी आपकी पॉलिसीज तब ऐसा नहीं है सत्ता के लिए कॉम्प्रोमाइज आपने भी किए हैं इन्होंने भी किए हैं लेकिन आपने तो जो फंडामेंटल्स थे उन्हीं पे कॉम्प्रोमाइज किया मिस्टर सज्जन कुमार I would like you to perhaps reiterate that point because that was in an earlier broadcast. Uh, the point on the Congress being able to mobilize uh, campaigns and set narratives according to you better than the BJP. Yeah, that that point you see. And then what? For happened? the last six, seven years, uh, six, seven months, it's very visible that every issue you take. I mean, not only the Manipur. I mean, in the past also there are many issues wherein every time you see the response or the agenda is set by the opposition. and then entire bjp is trying to counter that agenda so that way it seems that opposition including the new name Inclu indi including the uh, which warranted uh, exactly so much so that the prime minister has to i mean mock it by saying it ghamandia what i am saying today but here the mood point is that while opposition has galvanized the it cell social media etc whether it is resonating on the ground is yet to be tested and that we will see in 2024 but here one of the weakness of opposition is that political battles are not won by moral outrage you know and that too when you do not have the numbers that you have lost it because of a strategic failure manipur has also other internal agendas one has to accept let's not pretend that opposition was solely concerned on the manipur yes there were outrage but there was also an attempt to encircle the government in run up to 2024 and in that sense in that guerrilla mode of politics up to the half opposition seems to score over the ruling party but finally when they walked out they i mean suddenly seem to lose out all the gains that have scored so that is why 
today's era of comparison of the political norms and ethics should be from today's standard when a leader is speaking in parliament they know that they are being watched by every nook and corner and by every people on the ground so therefore the mode of articulation is going to be acidic it is going to be punchy it is going to be very polemical so comparing to a different era with all respect to tyagi sir i think is not the right moment because we do not have a guarantee that a non bjp government or a non bjp leader is going to change bring a qualitative change it is going to move in the same direction that's a very very sad commentary though if that happens kartike batra i'll come to you i'll give you a right to reply kartike batra is a very sad commentary because if it, if this is the trajectory that uh, uh, commentary inside parliament if this is the road that it go, it is going to take and it's a, it's, a, it's a little sad isn't it it has the counterpoint how do you get better you get better by challenging the status quo right and you challenge the status quo as sajjan i rightly said if somebody is being machiavellian you can't be gandhian <clears throat> right so i think that this whole idea of sorry yeah i mean i honestly feel that today's politics the pace at, at which it's moving the media coverage this overload of information i really think that the idea of norms and morals while you know you should i think one should stick to that but in terms of execution of strategy at times you have to be a little more clever than hoping that the other party will act as per norms i think it's the message is primarily right now for the opposition because i think again because they are the david against the goliath of the government the simple as that okay yeah comparing to another era now what was amit shah speech on comparing of what happened in mizoram 30 years ago is that how you should do there is strife right now what you should do is talk about how you're going to bring peace now one very important thing which rahul ji also mentioned and i'm mentioning our army is very powerful we all know that you know why is the army not given a free hand because you want the divide today rahul ji said in his in his press conference that i was there when i had to go from a methi area to a kuki area i was told do not bring the methis in we will you know there will be problems when i went from the kuki from kuki to i'm going to, to the methi area the methi said do not get the kuki so why does rahul ji know you know rahul ji knows all this because he is there it's a conflict zone but why is there no protection there is conflict zone is our army weak we, we what is that what is the administration doing it's because the police has also taken sides sanket let's understand the divide is so deep over there to heal that divide we need to act fast we are not acting fast and and first thing they should do is ask that horrible shameless chief minister of mizor uh, manipur to step down that is very insane you can say change okay. chief ministers one, one, for election one, 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 election you have changed gujarat chief minister uttarakhand you have changed three chief ministers in uh, karnataka you have changed chief minister okay. why I, because I, you I, want I, to win I, election you made your for point power bjp okay. will do anything but for the people who are dying who are desperate who are desolate we don't give Mr. a damn Mr. that's Mr. what they Mr. are Mr. <laughs> manipur i think it's unfortunate that even in the parliament there are there are, there there is there was no voice from the manipur we have two mps from the manipur i mean it's a very the, important point and there are they are in the they are in the ruling side the mizoram sir the mizoram mps yeah that was in the rajya sabha that was in rajya sabha rajya sabha but there was one one more in the in the, in the uh, from the uh, ruling side at least one mp from the manipur should be given the chance to speak So, okay truth, Pra prakash chand sharma Pra one more prakash chand sharma you uh, your response okay to what yeah. the congress and the congress uh, concerned people are talking about they are just putting you know ghee on the fire aag mein ghee dalne ka kaam kar rahe hain aur desh ko jalane ka kaam kar rahe hain jo inhone abhi tak kiya hai the concern is the the house is burning the matter is sensitive we should know we should sit together we should understand how to make it down to make it come down but that we are not doing it no this is their ego because they are the egoistic people and they do only on emotion she is talking about 33 years ago about the concern we should understand ki what was the condition of northeast in a particular part and where the northeast is yes issues are there so many tribes are there so many people are there they have their emotional value they have their cultural values so many you know the uh, particular conversions has happened my, my, my sir no no sankhi concern over here is no one sankhi you have to ask him an important question you no, need to ask sankhi. him when the i know you have already you have already when asked the question mlas have lost faith by experiencing the why the what is the one moment one moment what is the what is the compulsion of going on with mr n biren singh this is a question being asked yeah short question as an indian to the bjp spokesperson sir okay As, as an, an indian, indian voter can you can you pass on the mic is it i know bhartiya voter bhartiya nagrik 
आप सच में कह रहे हैं कि आपकी सेंट्रल और स्टेट गवर्नमेंट मिला के सौ दिन में मणिपुर जैसे राज्य को कंट्रोल नहीं कर पाई हाउ इज दैट पॉसिबल सर इट इज माइंड बॉगलिंग यू नो एंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल लाइक मी वी आर नॉट प्रफिलेट एनी पार्टीज एज इंडियंस वी फील डिस्ट्रेस्ड एंड सैड वेन वी सी दो विजुअल्स रिस्पॉन्स इन देन मिस्टर त्यागी वी ऑल आर the issue is there the the political position over there the social position over there the geographical position over there we should understand what the infrastructure is there how the things are there and this is very much in control only thing ki we want to see the control as per our side our perception it should be that there we are not seeing the whole book we are seeing a particular page particular draft particular case lot of things are happen yes it happens but after that what is happening what is the condition of manipur now how it is controlling they want to make it a video camera over there the the live show and it should come there no the treatment is going on the manipur is under a treatment condition and it is doing very well because they are taking a concern is a matter of concern but putting matter on a burn side we should understand the things to make it calm down okay, run, run, running out of time mr kc tag jis tarah ki behas sansad mein nahi ho payi hamare panel mein bhi uska bhav mein bahut afsos ke sath keh raha hu kyunki north east jo hai और कश्मीर उनमें बहुत समानता है एक जैसी वहाँ आर्टिकल 370 था वहाँ भी आर्टिकल है वहाँ भी 70 साल से मिलिट्री है यहाँ भी 70 साल से मिलिट्री है वहाँ भी सेल्फ डिटर्मिनेशन के मोमेंट चल रहे हैं वहाँ भी सेल्फ डिटर्मिनेशन के मोमेंट चल रहे हैं नागा उन्नीस में फिजो ने कहा कि हम आज़ादी नहीं है फोर्टी में मने कर दिया उन्होंने ऐसे ही प्रिंसली स्टेट आजादी को सेल्फ डिटर्मिन का मोमेंट चला कल जिसका जिक्र प्रधानमंत्री कर रहे थे एक दौर ऐसा था पूरे नॉर्थ ईस्ट में आग लगी हुई थी मोर देन कश्मीर चीन से उनको मदद मिल रही थी बर्मा से मिल रही थी उस समय ईस्ट पाकिस्तान से वहां से मिल रही थी एक भी पार्टी के किसी भी नेता ने छोड़ करके गगोई को उन कंसर्न को वहां पर शेयर नहीं किया और मैं बहुत तकलीफ के साथ आपसे कहना चाहता हूं प्रकाश जी वहां पर लगभग सब जगह और जब कांग्रेस की सरकार आ जाएगी तो सारी सरकारें में कांग्रेस की हो जाएंगी आपकी जानकारी के लिए मेरी पार्टी की भी सरकार रह चुकी है वहां पे मणिपुर में जब जॉर्ज फर्नाडीज कन्वीनर थे एनडीए के तो वहां पे हमारी पार्टी की सरकार रही है वो तो दिल्ली की तरफ देखते हैं तो उसमें उनको ऐसा मत समझिए कि वो आपके साथ आगे पूरा नागालैंड पूरा मिजोरम पूरा नॉर्थ ईस्ट जल रहा है और इसमें जो शर्मा मुख्यमंत्री है वो तेल डाल रहा है वोटों की खातिर आप मैं कहना चाहता हूँ थोड़े दिनों बाद आसान भी जलेगा पॉइंट इज दट दिस डिबेट डिस्कशन हैपन एंड वॉज दिस एबल टू पैसिफाई और सूद द फ्रेड नर्व इन मणिपुर आई थिंक बिकॉज दैट वॉज द ऑब्जेक्टिव वॉज द ऑब्जेक्टिव सर्व did manipur get that healing touch that it wanted that it that it wanted from from delhi has that happened i think we'll leave you with this question and what you make of the discussion that you heard on this panel thank you very much for watching the special edition of the big party